Today I'm welcome to the Mac Pack. We're, We're back. back. My name is Jamie Kenner and to my left this week in order of the man on the panel most likely to own a boat. It's my little brother Joe. How are you, boy? Our me heart is a chubby making you to walk the plank if I had a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and to my right, coming in a single one as he does each and every week is the baby brother of the pack. Who we call Junior Boy, Junior Boy. How are you, mate? Oh, I can picture it already. The SS Mac Pack. There you go. <laughs> We're chatting about boats off the top this week because... Riley went on one over the weekend, so that's cause enough. Plus, we're also discussing our RTR careers. After a couple of weeks, we've got some updates to give. I've got some news. Plus, Lorenzo sent in a story, which we'll be reading out. It's quite a long one, so we'll be doing a bit of a chat about Lorenzo's story. Plus, we've got an everyday hero centered around Christmas, and we're trying some Voya Vodka. It's a massive bet. Let's get into it. Boys, boys, boys! Brother Bingos! How are we all? Are we all well? Fantastic. Well. Merry cri- nearly Merry Christmas. Nearly Merry Christmas. Nearly Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. We're wearing our festive Christmas hats. Festive hats. Where do the festive hats come from? Santa. Yeah, but why? It's like... Why, yeah, why strange. pom-pom? It's and like... Why, such, why so baggy? It's like, you know when you see old-timey people in pyjamas and they have like mm. the candle and they wear oh, like the long yeah. john and they have the hat? I think that's where it comes from. There you go. That's a good. Know, it's it? such a unique hat, though. It's not comfortable, and it feels like weighted. Like I feel like I'm getting weighed down by the by the pom pom. I rate it. No one else has ever tried to pom pom, have they? The pom pom on the hat. No, you never no. see like a cat with a pom pom. No. Keep it that way, I reckon. They've locked it in. We like that. What else do we like? Boats. 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 Hit me with your boat story. You told us that over the weekend you were fortunate enough to attend a 21st birthday on of, a a de- of a dear friend of the show. We won't name him. What if you want to name him? Uh, Zaino. We've named him. Zaino. We've gone and named him. <laughs> I think he's been mentioned on the podcast before. He's an absolute king, is Zane. It was his 21st birthday. You attended the boat party. Oh, yeah. Chaos ensued. Yeah, baby. So uh, the sailing of the boat, it was a pontoon boat. It wasn't just a boat. It was a what boat. What does that mean? Like a raft up boat. It, it was flat. And it was basically just like a dance floor. Like a deck. Oh, a deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A freaking yep. deck, right? Yep. With one it's sailor. Like a river cruise type vibe. Yeah, yeah. That type beat. And um, so, but it was all open air. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's cool. Anyway, so he said the boat takes off at 8. 8 till 11 is okay. when we're on the water. Yeah, nice. And he was like, ladies, you can get That's there. That's quite late. It's, yeah, fuck. On that seven and you're stuck on the boat. So yeah, you can't leave. Seven forty-five is the latest you can get to the to the. I was called the bell tower. Yeah, the bell tower. Yeah, yeah. where we're, that's where we that's where we sail. That's where yep. we sail away. And I've been to a few parties with the same group of people on this part of the river. Never on a boat before. The but no, but like the bars on the river. That's where we. Oh, like the Reveille. Yeah, it's just like they're the spots, right? And every time I've driven and parked on. Um, Riverside Drive. Yep. Without fail. So I was like... Let's That's what you're going to do. I'll do it again, you know. Uni people going to the same destination. Go to the place I always park. So I left like... So I was going to get there at Bang on 7.45. Yep. No wazers, brother. And I threw it in the ETA. So you're not drinking? No. What a guy. So I throw it, in the, throw it in the maps. Maps say ETA, 7, 7.54. So I've messaged him and said, Zaino. Look, mate, I'm going to be nine minutes late. Is that all right? And he's like, no, was us. We'll wait for you. Oh. Why were you late? Just just lack of getting yeah. apart? Yeah. Yeah, cool. You know, as the time, it just said it was going to take longer than he thought. Yeah, yeah. And he said it was going to be doing prior, So though? I wasn't that stressed. Okay. Anyway, so then... Just get yeah, the tarp out? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, the tarp Yeah, he's just lying down, <laughs> living it up on the tarp. Ripping off on the tarp. Anyway, so then I was driving. No, was us. Pull onto Riverside Drive. Dr- and then I, I usually, whenever I get to a destination, I like to drive around the block. <laughs> so <I'm laughs> Not when you're late. <laughs> yeah. Surely not when you're late, though. Do a bit of a victory lap. <laughs> Dr- drive around the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wave at everyone. You drive fast. And then, you know, find the ultimate parking place. Mm. Okay. Mm. Get to assess all options. No, that's you go fair. Around. I do something similar. Like you reach your destination and then you find a good park. And then you lay out the top. And then you <laughs> yeah. victory lap and wave it up. That's it. Anyway, so then I was like, I saw the bell tower, <laughs> drove to it. The mighty bell tower. And I got to the point of no return, but like, you can't do it anymore. You have to go around the block. Yeah. So I got to that point and I looked down at my phone 
<laughs> and the maps now says <laughs> it's time 25 of arrival. Days. Yeah, it's it's, it's 754. Like uh, the time. That was there. it. And then it said time of arrival to get all the way back around to where I was. Like 804. Oh, big lap. A ten minutes. Long, long A lap. Ten minute lap. And I was like, what was your lap back via Canning Vale? It was, no, it was just lap. so insanely busy. Because yeah, you know this driving in. Because tis the season. The yeah, Christmas lights are going <laughs> off in Perth at the moment. Holy shit. The, the entirety w- of Perth was in the city this day. And uh, uh, Zane Were calls you there? me. No, I was there, yep. Oh. Zane calls me. I'm like, <laughs> <You're not laughs> <missed> the memo. <laughs> Zane calls me. He's like, where are you? I'm like, mate, like. Doing the lap. I'm not yeah. going to lie. It is so <laughs> fucking busy. Where has everyone else parked? And then he's like, Riverside Drive. <laughs> and I was like, all right, no way. Anyway, so I'm like, bro, I don't know if I'm going to get there. Like, I'm going to have to keep searching. So I drove around a few more times. I drove around for. A few more times. So that's like half an hour. It hit, <laughs> it hit, it hit, it hit 8.15. And the boat is still there. And at this point, point, I'd gone all the way around Riverside Drive and then I drove all the way down Riverside Drive where they hosted Seasons where we were Yeah. to like try park down there. Mm. Except that's like a 20-minute walk. Yeah, right? But I was going to book it. But And then even oh, all of I that... Like he was going to book it. He was going to book it. Eight-minute book. Eight book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But even that, all of it <laughs> was taken. It was hard. And I legit... I just started this driving. This boat party sounds lit. I just, just started driving like as far as I could. <laughs> but like within lengths, right? And then I was like just driving, 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 trying to find a back street to park, back street to park, back street to park. And I literally got to the bridge of to go into Northbridge, like the back of the city. And I went up a Wilson car park and Zane called me. He's like, mate, the boat's running late. It's currently 8.20. But if you can get here within the next five, ten minutes... Oh, good. so the boat wasn't even there? Yeah, right? And oh, I'm like, I'm like, the boat was at the Christmas lights. <laughs> and he, uh, as soon as I answered the call, I'm like, mate, I'm just going to go home. Like, oh, I can't be bothered. Yeah. Like, this is fucked. I can't, I'm, like, I'm not going to make it. You guys just leave. Wait, so you're later. I'll see you another time. You're like near Rose Street. Yeah, I am like in Northridge. <laughs> 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 I am basically in Northridge. And then I, I find this Wilson parking place. And I'm like, fuck it. I'll just try it in here. Drove up all the flights. Got to the very top and was like, oh, there's a few spots up here. <laughs> Fang it in. And I'm can, like, can right, I've got like 10 minutes until so the boat and lands and goes. On foot, you're probably like 40 minutes away. <laughs> well, yeah. I checked my maps and it was like 15 minute drive. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Just, cause, just for those playing along at home, because we obviously we have a lot of listeners that aren't from Perth. And then even some people in Perth, like me, who you're saying all these street <laughs> names, and I'm like, I have no idea. That, that might be minutes away. So basically, well, I'll be a long way away. Basically, there's Give us the rundown. He wants to be at the river, and he's essentially gone like downtown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. driven so, to downtown. So we have the river. And he we don't want city, no beef. Then we boy. have a massive train track. Then we have Northbridge, which is like yeah, the back yeah, of the CBD. Are. And then, so, it's so I'm basically on the train track. So it's a 15 minute drive <laughs> with from the traffic from where you are at this point. But I call Zane and he's like, if you can get here in the next 5, 10, you're good. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to give it a red hot go. Did you like parkour across the building? So <laughs> I, I was like running towards. Do you know how far the walk is? Have you measured how far? Because if I got out of the car and it was 15 minutes. I didn't drive. have time to look. Oh, okay. But I just knew I, I was like, know if, if I run it's a long enough, walk. I might get there. Okay. Anyway. I would say 20 to half an hour. Wow. Walk. But if you run, like, you're, like, going 10 times the pace, yeah. the pace of a walk. Anyway, so I was, like, I legit, I didn't even have my button-up button, on, button up shirt on yet. I had it in the back, like, on a coat hanger because I wanted to get So what are you wearing? Time. Just a T-shirt okay. and jorts. Anyway, so, like, <laughs> get, jorts. So I get out of the car. Good running jorts. <laughs> get out of the car. Skinny jorts. My shirt. <laughs> my I was shirt. shaving like a bed. <laughs> <laughs> my shirt is on a coat hanger. I don't even have time to rip it off the coat hanger. I just You're wearing the, the coat hanger. I break <laughs> I break the coat hanger <laughs> and then rip it out of the shirt and then I'm like running, buttoning it up. I love like that you're the guy, Superman. I love that the guy who doesn't have time to take a shirt off the coat hanger has enough time to do a lap around the city yeah, just yeah, to yeah. check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how quickly the priorities have and changed. Then no. And then I'm running toward <laughs> the lifts, right? The so you're running, putting elevator. on your button off shirt. Yeah, the and reverse And there's Superman. this family and the doors just close and I'm like, well, I'm not waiting. I'm you throw go. your hat. I'm going to go down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw my Christmas hat. <laughs> 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 just throw some jorts. And then, um, and then I run down the stairs and I'm like booking it down the stairs, like jumping it, like Martin yeah. McFly style. And then I just go screaming out of this door. Like, and do you bang, know your Swing way? the door open. And then this old lady, yeah, I just know it's, it's south. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so I look and this old lady is just like standing right in front of the door and I swing the door open, almost hit her. And then we make eye contact and she's like, can you tell me what this means? <laughs> <laughs> and then I like the door swung closed behind me and it was like car park closes at 10 p.m. 
And I was like, <laughs> that face, Joe, that face. Oh. I was like, <laughs> I legit said, I was like, what oh, it says on the cunt. Tin. And then I just ran back up the stairs. You didn't answer it. I just said, I was like, you, yeah, well, it is what it oh, says, babe. Because your like, car's there. Yeah, and I should get back and to the And the boat comes back at it. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even so joined the dog. So I'd run back up the fucking stairs. <laughs> I don't get those. And I start zooming through the city again and I'm driving. <laughs> driving <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, where am I going to go? Did you have to pay for parking? And I'm like, I'm going to go back down to Riverside Drive because if I get any further, <laughs> it's just like a no-go. Surely another five minutes has elapsed between you... Going, get parking, you, running down the stairs, then running back up the stairs, getting in your car, and then leaving the. Did you pay for parking? No, because I was only in there for like <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> See, I feel bad. Like this story has a different location to go into. Are we happy to permit? Yeah, we're going. We're spot? in this deep. All right. said this is so be I, sure. I drove back <laughs> down to Riverside Drive, and I was like, "Let's try Fluka Spot. Like that's yeah, my yeah, only yeah. chance of getting on this boat." So you go back to do a victory lap. And Zane calls me again, <laughs> and he's like, "Mate." Where I am, I'm like, mate, still in my fucking. Have you heard of car. broom? I <laughs> parked and then I got out and now I'm back in my car. Still in my car. It's eight thirty. I've currently been searching for a park for forty minutes. Like this is fuck. Why did yeah. Why didn't you warn me that it was going to be this ruining? Anyway, so then I'm driving and he's like, "Well, we're going past Optus Stadium. Do you want to try and meet us and jump on the boat there?" <laughs> and I was like, oh, "I've got work at seven a.m." But I'm like, "Fuck, oh, all right." I'll see you there, right? So then I drive to the CAS and unfortunately, Go the CAS hosted park. the test match today. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Optus Stadium hosted the test match today. Yeah. So the CAS is right next to Optus and I'm so I go to park at the CAS and obviously... That's 16,000 people attended. It's and it's also quite far from Optus still. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. So did you park S- it? Especially the water. I had to Where's drive around and around and around in the CAS car park and then I eventually <laughs> just followed this guy. Like his bum was on my headlights, like just following yeah. him that close until he got to his car. And then I pulled in, finally got in after like 20 minutes of looking at Crown. And then I legit just like sprint to Optus Stadium. Because I don't even know where they dock the boats either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <laughs> think that they do. Yeah, At right? I don't think. I think so they then just I'm legit drive. like running through the bush, like climbing through the bush. And then I just, and then I hear the boat coming because obviously it's like a disco boat. Yeah. And then I, <laughs> and I call Zane and I'm like, I've got <laughs> ears. <laughs> I've got <laughs> ears <laughs> and I've got <laughs> eyes. And then I climb on. And then the chick lets me on. And then everyone on the boat is like, like I expected Zane this to be like a big a funny thing that he would have told the party. Like yeah. if this was my party, I'd be like, "Holy oh, shit!" Like guys we're stop- yeah, we're stopping an Optus to figure out. This is up. a convoy. Like how funny is this? Like one of the main characters <laughs> 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 As isn't on the boat, and I'm sure we're all wondering where he is. Well, this is it, right? Anyway, and then <laughs> I get on the boat, and then everyone's just like, "Oh, did you have an event at Optus today? Like why were you there?" <laughs> No one knew. So I just like felt like the biggest <laughs> dick like they made an extra stop for Yeah. Well, with these extra main <laughs> character vibes though, that's pretty wild. But yeah, I finally got on the boat. And, and did they drop you at Optus afterwards? Then I, then <laughs> I got on the car. We started sailing away and then I was like, <laughs> how the fuck am I going to get to my car? Yeah. <laughs> so I had to just get one of the boys to drop or get one of the girls to drop me. Oh, so they didn't do a back return trip car. back no, to Optus. Oh, goodness gracious me. Yeah. So you left home to get to the party at what time? 7.15. You got to the... City at seven fifty, left the city at like eight forty. And then what time did you get? <laughs> what time did you get to Optus? Like, oh no, I probably got to Optus around like eight forty five. It's not that far. It's away a long commute, isn't it? That's an mm. hour and a half, hundred minute commute. To get and then I searched yeah. around. And Optus then the party is a commute in of itself. Yeah, it was two hours to get from <laughs> A to B. <laughs> and then you got on the boat, which commuted you around the city, and then took you back to a different location. Back to the bell didn't tower. help. <laughs> yeah. Then you had to drive back to you your car to get and, driven <laughs> and dropped off it. Great. So party, you experienced the party for two hours. You experienced about four and a half hours <laughs> of driving. <laughs> yeah, a yeah, lot nice. more driving on this boat party than I expected. But bang for buck. We absolutely love it. Um, happy birthday, Zane. I'm glad that uh, I don't know, at least 95% of your, yeah, your you attendees... Yeah, you fashionably late on a boat party. No, yeah. no. <laughs> lesson learned. Lesson learned. Alrighty, guys, here on the Mac Day Podcast, when something comes across our desk, we like to address it. And when something comes across our desk that speaks about a member of the panel, we like to address <laughs> it. And this week, Riley, we've got a story that came through oh, about yeah. you, which is rather exciting. Another we thought, one. we thought, me and Joe saw this one earlier in the week and we yeah. thought we might bring it up on the, the pod. The classic Riley. And yeah, yeah, we just went, you know what? Let's inquire with him live on air exactly about what happened. The headline reads, man had sex with cow before being trampled. So we just How thought did you guys we just thought out? we would ask exactly what went down. Um, we can read on. Let's so read I on. I was late to Zane's party, <laughs> <laughs> and I was bored. This is the pre-tarp stuff. 
a bloke has been banned from owning his own lives, his own livestock for ten years after being found guilty for having a sexual intercourse with it's a not long with a, with, a, with a cow earlier this year. I haven't had sex with a cow in ten years, <laughs> and I've been doing just fine. <laughs> yeah, and it's also it's like <laughs> owning livestock, like. That's the dream. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just an interesting penalty. Um, we'll mention his name. This is... Oh, maybe we won't, actually. He was found a very uncompromised... Very uncompromised... Whoa. Incompromised. <laughs> Give me that cow. <laughs> <laughs> he was found in a very <laughs> uncompromising position with his pants down, clearly having... Sales <laughs> with a cow. A cows co- are so tall, though. Cows co- are like six foot. Yeah. I think like, it was was a, he on a stool? I think it was a calf. Oh, that's even worse. It's a pedophile a fucking beast. The 25-year-old, however, did not have a happy ending as he tried to <laughs> as he tried to King. escape as he Who tried wrote this? as he tried to escape from the angry farm owner by jumping into another part of the farm, only for so it wasn't his even other cows to trample him. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't so. even his cow. He it did a bit of a snow on. Pump and, so he was a pump and run. <laughs> Bit of a pump and run. Um, he was Dang. then found lying on the floor screaming, I'm sorry, I fucked up. Which I get, think is, is the, the angle. I name? think that's the angle yeah. in which he would need to be hanging. In what order else to is he going to say? Brown was later charged with sexual penetration with a living animal and causing unnecessary suffering to a protected animal for the incident in the farm. Uh, which is, I think that's... What about the trespass? No qualms there. Brown was allegedly caught on CCTV footage, which was set up as... F- the farm owners actually suspected <laughs> that the cows were being interfered with <laughs> 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 when clothing and gloves were found on the property. The cows were said to be suffering from a declining health and suspicions were shockingly proven correct in the early, z- in the early hours of June 12, 2022. So it's, you it's, it's gone on for a little while, this little... Can you imagine being a story. farmer... And like coming in <laughs> for a day, going to like your wife and family. I think somebody might be fucking the cows. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, a, it's an interesting. And one. then being correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, immediately your wife would be like, "Surely not!" Like that's just such an unfathomable thing to do. And then to actually catch the man it's with his pants so around his ankle, weird. balls deep. <laughs> yeah, balls deep in birth of the cow. Oh. Not really ideal. A DNA sample was taken and proved to be. 100% accurate that Brown had actually had intercourse with the animal uh, representatives wait, in court wait, this wait, week. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait. yeah, no, I think he's done the dirty and raw dogs. <laughs> <laughs> like, how have they got a the raw DNA cow? cow I think they call it. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think I think when at the time in which you decide, you know what, I'm going to root a cow. <laughs> where, yeah, I don't think you're thinking like safety yeah. first i don't think you're I'm worried about ra- i don't wrap her up though yeah i don't think you're concerned gotta, gotta get her pregnant yeah <laughs> what would a half ha- a cow half i don't know let's not it's think about it that. too much this guy would love it there um <laughs> <laughs> he, in court he mentioned that he was remorseful and obviously devastated by the pain he caused i wonder if it must have been going on for a while though you can't be that devastated if you yeah if you're doing it that much I, when i first heard of the story i was like oh big night out yeah the guy's Oh, we've all done it. <laughs> he has no idea. <laughs> Who hasn't tried like he to? Borderline has no ram idea. Ram a ram. Yeah. <laughs> like he I got confused. The guy like Borderline has like no idea what's going on. No, nah, it sounds like it's quite a planned <laughs> attack. He failed to give any reason behind the bizarre behaviour, but did apologise and say that he was rem- yeah he was remorseful. Um, any photos of the guy? Uh, there, there is. We won't share them because I feel like that's no, a, a step too far. Um, oh, Jono! I know Jono. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, anyway, it goes on to basically say that this action is not on, not which on. I think if anyone's listening and is tossing out 50-50 ball, whether or not we are on side of said Ruta or cow, yeah, the cow's taken home the, the brownie points and by the sounds of things, more than that. So anyway, things to think about. Over Christmas Chrissy. parties, yeah, Christmas yeah, parties. Crazy get, Christmas parties. <laughs> Christmas parties <laughs> can get pretty hectic as we mentioned in prior episodes of the pod, but yeah, make sure this festive season you don't go... Yeah, I don't know. Right in the cow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surely it goes without saying, doesn't it? <laughs> you think. <laughs> yes. Alrighty, boys. Um, obviously, Junior Boy and I announced our little on-air debuts a couple of weeks ago. We, we kicked things off by doing some on-air stuff for RTRFM 92.1. That's us. The Sound Alternative, uh, which <laughs> is a local community radio station in... Mount Lawley, Beaufort Street. Yeah, in Perth. Um, it's late. We're really enjoying our time. 
Yeah, sounds fun. Did our second sesh during the <laughs> week, and by the time this comes out, we hopefully would have done our third. And if you haven't been listening or tuning in while we've been on air, because uh, we would have done one to four a.m. and four to six a.m., you can tune in via the link tree in our MacPack bio on Instagram. Yeah, you can check them out. This week in particular, so the second session, you'll be able to find um, some funny stuff went Ooh. down. Definitely, so <laughs> Riley was in charge of the buttons. I was pressing the buttons this time, which was a debut in and of itself, because you don't really do any of that here. No, not no. Like. And well, not a not He's really. He's just a good look. Not really at all. And then when we get into the studio of RTR, <laughs> it was the first time, and I must say, there was a real look of panic that shot through your face pretty early on in the piece. Well, it does get stressful. You're live on air. Live. There's no take backsies. What <laughs> ended up happening? Because there was a few moments throughout. Are you guys on a delay at all? No. Nah. So you say something wrong. I mean, <laughs> it might, yeah. like, it don't might bring the cows in. I'm saying that much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, there's no second check. There's no take backsies. <laughs> yeah, no, any button you press, any word you say. Yeah, that's out there forever. You're gone. It is You're done. There. You're done. <laughs> You're done. Anyway. What, what happened this week? So it, it was around 4.45 a.m. <laughs> yeah, prime time. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. The start of all good stories. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was this cow. <laughs> I didn't know the mics were still on. <laughs> no, no. Sometimes <laughs> when you're feeling a good yeah. thing, you're feeling a good thing. <laughs> anyway, so it's 1.45. We come back from like our third talk break. We've played two ad breaks or whatever. Yeah. A couple of ads, <laughs> plenty of hits. Plenty of banter. And we started to get in <laughs> Not a Not many callers. We started be <laughs> to be get in a bit of a groove because obviously the first yeah. one's nerve-wracking. The second one still a bit like nerve-wracking. The third one, you're getting your feet. The fourth, you're usually up and running. So we're up and running by the fourth, right? <laughs> it's about a 40 minute mark. Yeah. And you know, getting used to the system, it's basically just like rinse and repeat now. You load up your yeah. three songs, you press the buttons, you fade them in, you fade them out, you turn the mics on, that's it. Anyway, so we get to this point and I, s I play a song by my good friend Howie. I contacted Howie and said, mate, mate, I'd love to play this song on the radio, can I? He was like, yeah, but yeah. So he sent it through and I loaded it up on the thing. And I said, this one's Howie, you're listening to 92.1 RTR FM with Jake and Junior. And faded in. Which is the term we're going with, by the way. We're not Mac Pack yeah, yeah. at the moment. Well, at the moment, we're not. Until you get in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Protect sound good, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tech Joe and Junior. Anyway. Protect the brand. But, um, so, and it is a community radio station, so funding is limited. So, <laughs> <a lot> <laughs> so Joe, feel free to donate. Yeah, any <laughs> amount yeah go on, Joe. If you want. Your Christmas time. And your wage yeah. is probably higher than oh, the net profit. And then some. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You anyway. could buy this. Why do you buy this thing? <laughs> <Yeah>, you could. <laughs> Why don't you buy it? That's anyway, so we're sitting there and, um, you know, you're getting used to the equipment, but the equipment is slightly out of date. It's not what you'd see in your Nova 937 or your 92.9. Yeah. Um, but so so the system does tend to lag. And when Jake did it, he did say it was lagging. But it was lagging <laughs> way more than I was expecting when I was doing yeah. it. Yeah. You just got to get used to it right away. Like, we grew up on Windows 97. Lag is my safe side. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to do something in 20 seconds? You better click that now, buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, so then I click the like add song to queue, you know, thinking ahead, getting like yeah. four or five songs ahead of the, ahead of the team. Yeah, four or five songs. You might crash. <laughs> well, <laughs> just, yeah, wait. So then I click add, add, add song and then I search up the song, which is in like the library of like yeah. thousands and thousands of songs. And it's a song by Wesley Black. And I search up Sleepless Nights. Good Wesley friend Black. of the show, Wesley Black. And I get through the word. Night, okay, and I and I G H, then I like as if let it load, let it let it catch up with me because yep. I noticed the the w other t words that I've started. Yeah, to no, I've yet. I'm sitting I'm on my phone it. on the other side of the desk at this time, not doing anything to help contribute, but just listening to the tunes because you can hear them in the studio. Yeah, yeah, and then you know, then you know, it's loading, 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 and mm, nothing. Silence. Silence. Silence drops. Uh, probably. At about five seconds before I look up, I uh, drop my phone and then look up at Riley. And silence only panic, happens. Panic. Absolute <laughs> panic across his dial. There's only silence in the studio if, one, the mics are on because it'll mute the... Yeah, what would you hear? The in-room monitors either. because then it'll come through the mic. Or if you're just playing nothing. And it was the latter. <laughs> <laughs> because the system had crashed, Joe. And I... My eyes, Joe. <laughs> so <laughs> he's very scared. And fortunately <laughs> enough, we've been filming... The runs we've yeah, been doing. Yeah. So we've got all the breaks. The the video of this one, hopefully we'll be able to share it. Pretty funny because, again, me on my phone, just sitting there. Riley's searching, searching, searching. And then just pure silence out of absolutely nowhere. I've bung up. Look at him. He's just like, he looked at me like, 
<laughs> I have no idea and what's going on. Does it feel like time is going so slowly? Like yeah. every second feels like an hour? Like, yeah, because like the biggest, like the one thing you don't want to do in radio dead air. is dead air. <laughs> you don't want to be streaming nothing because it's like... People are there to listen to The one to thing stuff. you're doing is supplying audio waves. And so I've jumped up. I've run around to the side to his computer and I basically go, what, what's happened? And he goes, man, the whole thing's just turned <laughs> off, right? <laughs> and... I started to get a bit of a chore a lot. And like then you were like, you were like, just play another song. I was like, I can't. Like, yeah, because I thought that it might have just been there. like, that song's song, yeah. deleted or whatever. Um, that wasn't necessarily the case. And so there was panic. And he goes, go into the other studio. So I've sprinted out of the studio, run next door. Yeah. And so we can see each other through a big glass no pane. Glass. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so we and, can't I've, yeah. and I've quickly jumped on. That computer's working fine. The system's still running. The sound program's still running. That's all good. <laughs> um, Riley's st- I don't know what you were doing at this point just a lot of stressing and what yeah <laughs> just, <laughs> just gaming just a, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of waiting I was Me- trying to open CSGO he was listening to Nova Me- <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile everything is just absolutely silent like the, the room couldn't be more silent and it's an eerie silence when you're meant to be on radio yeah. and it's meant to be noise yeah. I'm in the other room I quickly whip up the sound and I'm like oh I'll type in a song and I'm like that's the dumbest thing I should do because realistically, if I'm searching on the world's laggiest computer, <laughs> it's going to take ages for something to pop up, right? So I've typed in something. I'm bashing away, bashing away, bashing yeah. away. Then I look at the screen and nothing's coming up. And I'm like, that's <laughs> all right. That's usually how it works. It takes a little while. Still nothing, still nothing. And then I bash away on the keyboard again. Still nothing, still nothing, still nothing. And then I quickly realize, wrong keypad. So that's <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's the keyboard yeah. for that monitor. You're using a piano. <laughs> 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 this keyboard is over here and it's tucked in this little shelf. And then I quickly grab that, start typing shit down, right? Yeah. The song I was searching for, I don't <laughs> remember what, I think I just went to Sam Fender. Like when in doubt, just throw on some Sam, Sam Fender. Fender. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering what would be the first <laughs> song. Come to you, mate. You're like, oh, mum, mum, and I'm fine. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah. So panic set in. And then the keyboard's lagging so much that something came up, but it wasn't music. And then, like, I must have punched in too many keys or misspelled it. So all but at of this the point, we just want to stream anything. Yeah. So all just of the anything. results have disappeared. So yeah. now I'm looking at a panel with no music and I'm like, fuck. So <laughs> delete. Were you, were you at all thinking of, oh, I just got to get on the mic? Not once, pe- not once, because you don't want to hear. Uh, uh, hey guys, uh, <laughs> a bit of an issue. Uh. <laughs> see, my brain was like, all right, I could talk, but the Why station we're it? on isn't talkback. So if I just started spitting hey, shit, yeah, it would almost be worse than silence <laughs> oh, because they, people nah. on the stage would want to hear me. And it also, it was like, all right, we could be down for like fifteen minutes here. And I don't want to be like feeling dead air, trying to speak for fifteen minutes. Like if we're trying to get this out, it might be better off. See, it never yeah. occurred to me. If it had, have, I would have started speaking. But it never occurred to me. I was like, no, the music was on. We're gonna get the music back on. And no one will realize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would suck if you did start talking and you were talking, talking. And like, yeah, we're just trying to fix it. Talking, talking. And then you're like, uh, sorry guys, uh, I just gotta over to the other room. Um, <laughs> Well, that's what I'll be I back mean. in a second. That's what I didn't um, want to, it's like answering the phone oh, talk, do you know what and having smart. nothing to talk about. Do you know what would have been smart, Jack? Play, play your phone. <laughs> yeah. I hold my, like, get it Spotify and just play a Coldplay song on the mic. I reckon that would have sounded real yeah, bad. Yeah, like, yeah, it would have been better than nothing. Oh, yeah, so, so I go in. This keyboard's not working. The screen's not loading. The music isn't appearing. Yeah. So then I quickly delete all. I'm still looking over at Riley, like, the, at the rate that I'm going, he's still a chance to rebuild a computer quicker than I am to find <laughs> and a song. how long has it been down? 20 oh, seconds. <laughs> nah, it's been, long, it's been longer no, than I that. I checked, we're only down for 45 seconds. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe so this th- actual whole thing, like, how much thoughts and just... Yeah, yeah so we're about probably 35 second mark now. And then I've I've gone back into the music, right? And I've yep. s- I can see all of the music. And the top one, couldn't even tell you what it was. Just quickly, double quick, add... Hit play, go, and then it's yeah. on, right? And I'm like, phew, there's some music. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just started hearing something and I was like, oh, thank God. Like, there's, some, we're back. there's some music on. We should have got the clip because it would be hilarious to play right now, but the clip wasn't <laughs> music. And you can go back and listen. If you're listening now and you're wondering what the panic station setup was, I don't know what, what's the time code. It was right up. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the link, if you click yeah. on the song Fade by Howie, Feet Uke. Then it'll happen halfway through the song. What we might do now, <laughs> just quickly, we might quickly just pause for a second so that we can bring up exactly what comes up. Because the song that I played wasn't a song. 
And I just want to play exactly what went over the air for a long time <laughs> while we, because I was like, yeah, that's a we're, song. And then it just fucking, never. We've saved the day. Because <laughs> a lot of these <laughs> songs are pretty alternative. And some of them have interesting starts. Mm. This one had a very interesting start, except it continued to go and go and go and go until I worked out this isn't a song and then played an actual song. So what we might do now, just real quickly, the art of podcasting is quickly pause this and then when we come back, we'll intro what basically went on when we came back on air. Sounds good. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've gone back and we found the exact time code. What we're going to do now is play you basically exactly what happened. So there's going to be music at the front. Who's it by? Capes. Feet Uke. Lovely. Um, they play for about 15 seconds. Then there's silence. We'll quickly talk over the silence. But imagine there's silence on the radio the entire Howie time we're talking. Howie, Feet Uke. Apologies. Um, it's called Howie. It's called Fade. And then you'll hear what I set off as like the emergency tape essentially. All right. So this here is the song that Riley just mentioned. Ooh, I like yeah. it. But heavy, like yeah, yeah, a lot of like energy. You'll notice if this stops, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like some songs where like they're pretty easy breezy and you're like, oh, yeah, so that's gone. And that's exactly what happened. So there's a bit of panic in the studio. Yeah, it's 4.50. You're just sitting there listening to the radio. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We're half asleep already. Do you reckon the people who are listening is probably more than the people who... I heard it live. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. So this is what, like, at this point, I'm running into the other room. Like, this yeah, has yeah, all yeah. happened in this 15 you're seconds of time. I'm smashing s- on the wrong keyboard. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking, we're looking, we're looking. We're about 30 seconds through, 15 seconds through what is essentially just dead air. This is all going to air at the moment. And then what I managed to play, you'll hear it in a matter of moments. It's just the most convoluted... <laughs> I'll see if I'm gonna what, what I'm gonna say, Joe, is I want you to guess what it is. When it comes okay. in, I want you to guess what it is, okay? You listening at home can play along. Um, Here we go. This is the noise that came on. Alright, I'll have two crab sticks. A piece of shark. <laughs> it's someone ordering fish and chips <laughs> and the yeah. the like microphone is in the fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> and so I put this on air thinking I'm a fucking hero and that music's, that music's playing. Yeah, I could hear it. I just look over at Jay. He's like, what and then it? I realise what I've done. And then I pull that off air. And then <laughs> 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 We've just got what appears to be like a very new era people. <laughs> 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 so you can imagine and before this, we're playing like indie, like music, <laughs> yeah. like uh, these people. I'm surprised they even have it on the thing. Like I'm playing, surprised they have someone's fish and chips on the thing. Uh, we played South Summit, Ocean Alley, yeah. not Ocean Alley, like Sam Fender, those guys. Yeah, yeah. and then it's this very comes alternate on. stuff, and then you've obviously <laughs> got a bit of pitbull. But why that's is the fish and chips thing even? Not why sure. Is that a may? Not only why is it there, but like why it. is it number one on the board? Because like that was my panic. I just clicked the top thing, and then we got uh, literally a bloke ordering uh, a seafood roll and a hake. Two two dollars <laughs> of the chips. <laughs> For <laughs> 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 that whole time, I had no idea. I was just like, "What is that noise?" I've Didn't saved the day, <laughs> and it was. I kind of like that actually. That, that's going to be number one of my Spotify rap next year. It was absolutely incredible. Yeah, but we thought we'd save the day, and unfortunately, we'd sort of. I'd sort of fumbled it in the end zone. Yeah. Any complaints? So the text line? <laughs> nah. When it got to the morning, so we did the four to four a.m. to a six a.m. session, and yep. the face of RTR is run by this lady called Pam. Pam. Pam, Pam does yeah. breakfast. Pam runs breakfast Monday to Friday. She's the girl. She yeah, is that's the RTR. The guy, yeah. And um, so we went. As we met her for the first time that day because our crossover was like uh, we threw over to Pam. Yeah. And um, so we went into the studio to say hi to her, like. After our session, yeah, and yeah. once she started playing a few songs, and we were a little bit embarrassed. Like we've gone off, f- f- off air for forty yeah. seconds to a minute, and you're the talk of the town. And we played a lot of fish and chips menu items, <laughs> yeah. and it's four a.m. No one really is interested. So she was like, "Oh, how many guys? How many of you guys done? I've never seen you before." And we were like, "Oh, this is our second." Shot. And last, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is our second shot. And then she's like, oh, "How'd you go?" And oh, no. well, I was like, oh, no, well, "Not great." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we did have this one kerfuffle where the system crashed, and we just streamed nothing for like forty five seconds. But we ran into the old studio and fixed it up. And she was like, <laughs> oh, that happens all the time. Don't worry <laughs> about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, boys. Very excited about this message. We quite frequently get some great messages in. This one comes in from Lorenzo Petrolo. And my nice. la- my God, it is a... She's a bookie. That's a long one. That's She's a an absolute one. bookie. And when we receive content like this, we want to do something bloody good with it. 
So this week I've decided that we're going to run a little bit of a game with Lorenzo's story. I'm Lorenzo Bowl. Neither of you have heard it. I'm the <laughs> only one that has read this story. Yeah. And what we're going to do is, because it takes a few twists and turns, like all good stories, a few twists and turns. Will right. it have a good ending? Will it have a sad Ooh. ending? That's up for grabs. What I want to do is I'm going to start reading out parts of the story in the way in which Lorenzo sent them through. And I want you to tell me at our certain checkpoints, which I'll stop and we'll take note. Yep. What the end goal is. Okay, yeah. Right? So we got to predict it. Yeah, I want you to basically... Pre- you know in like a movie and you're like, oh, this is what's going to happen at the end. Yeah. And you go, oh, no, this is what's going to happen at the end. And people hate that. Mm-hmm. I love yep. it. And we're going to do exactly that for Lorenzo's story. <laughs> because I think as we go through the murder mystery that is this, this conversation is that... <laughs> Mate, Mike's in radio. You know, Mike's, Mike's have never gone down an RTR, but Mike's in here. We might not get to the end. Lorenzo's story is that long. We might not get to the end of it. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take little stops. You're going to tell me what you think is going to be the final part of yeah. the story. Here we go. Play along at home. We would love to hear what you guys think. We're going to kick things off with Lorenzo. Here we go. Hey, fellas, my name is Lorenzo. Firstly, <laughs> fantastic name. Have yeah, you met a Lorenzo? Lorenzo? No, never. Never met a Lorenzo I don't like. Never met a Lorenzo? But never met one I don't <laughs> like. And I'm a Pies fan oh. from Perth, like you guys. Oh. Guess what? Oh, let's go. Never met a Lorenzo I don't like. And I really hope this grand final story finds its way. It finds its way to oh, you guys. That's huge. Similarly what? to you guys, after Collingwood beat Geelong in round one, I had a good feeling <laughs> about the year. Oh yeah. I went around asking my friends and all of my family who wanted to come to the grand final with me, as he was going to book a similar package to what we did. And he got one bite from one mate who was a West Coast fan. And the year goes on slowly, slowly. Pies start to build a bit of momentum. West Coast don't. They start booking their flights and accommodation and they get their tickets. They manage to snag Crown, Category 1 plus breakfast. Must be very nice. His mate and him watched all of the finals together. They even watched the prelim at Herdsman Lake Tavern, home of the WA Magpies. Shout out, little Cashy nice. from Lorenzo. Nice <laughs> to know that he's sponsored. <laughs> when the final siren went of that prelim, he couldn't believe what had happened and he couldn't believe how well he had planned it all yeah. out. Much like me, like there was success yeah, yeah. in the fact that the Pies won, but mm. there was also grander success that we had predicted it and we had front row seats to yep. the fucking big dance. Oh, yeah. Lorenzo flew out. To Melbourne on the Wednesday, right before the grand final, right? So three days before yep. the GF. So day, uh, day before me, the cheeky bugger. And an hour and a half before he landed, his mate, the one mate that went with him, said, turned to him and said, Lorenzo, I've got a migraine. And just for context, Lorenzo's mate gets migraines often. And when he gets them, he gets them real. <laughs> <laughs> like the only place that Lorenzo's mate wants to be when he gets a... Migraine oh. is in a dark, quiet room for a few days with the tarp out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tarp's not included. Yeah, just yeah. having a cow. It's at this point I want to ask you, our first checkpoint for the getting the cow. <laughs> yeah. uh, for the first checkpoint, I want to ask you, what happens? What is the final oh, part no. of this story? Is Lore- <laughs> just run me through the situation. Lorenzo has got two tickets, him and a mate. His mate's got a migraine. What happens? What's it, the end? Leave him at the hotel. We go to the game. So you reckon Lorenzo, loan ticket to the grand final. Lorenzo's mate in a room with a tarp out. Yeah, or he goes with a earbox and covers his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's an expensive... See, yeah. my mind went way darker. Lorenzo's mate might be terminally ill. Okay, let's keep it's, push a <laughs> <laughs> it's a dark. It's term. a drama. I'm okay, feeling. I it. like it. So you think Lorenzo by himself? You think Lorenzo? <laughs> you think Lorenzo by himself at the game? You think Lorenzo by himself for the <laughs> rest <lying>. of time? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Our plane landed around 5 a.m. <laughs> and straight away we went to the lobby f- to the apartment, the Airbnb, and I messaged the host to see if he could get an earlier check-in from 2 p.m. To ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> but the best the Dale Bad could chance. the best that the Dale could do was eleven AM. That's well, pretty decent. Yeah, you take that. While my mate was laying down on the lobby couches, really like not making a scene, <laughs> <just> <laughs> sprawled out. It's half out. <laughs> <laughs> he turned to me and told me he didn't think he'd be able to make it to the grand final. This Big is call Thursday. to make on a Thursday. Game's Saturday, Arvo. But he gets him bad and he gets him bad. <laughs> Goes down for days, Lorenzo's oh, mate. Oh, Lorenzo's mate. He told me to call my dad and to get him to fly over and take his ticket because Lorenzo's friend didn't think he was going to be able to make it. 
I kept Let's asking if he said, if he was sure. And eventually, he decided to call his dad. I want to hear. Wait, Lorenzo called his dad. Lorenzo father, called Lorenzo's dad. Who you'd assume is also a pies man. Who or knows? His family yeah. too. Yeah, well, he's going to get around the grand final ticket. I'll tell you that much for free. I want to hear. Second checkpoint. What happens? That is the so. Dad, Lorenzo's called his dad. Lorenzo's mate's on the floor. Yeah. Having a seizure. I think that. What's the final story? Lorenzo's dad flies over. The migraine guy starts feeling better and it's like, sorry, bud. It's my ticket. Oh, Lorenzo's Ooh. dad goes tough tits. I'm going to go. No, I think that the migraine guy changes his mind and says, look, I bought the ticket. Fair. And what happens to Lorenzo's dad? Fucking You're watching it at the hotel. Yeah. What I'm do you gonna, reckon? I'm going to go that Lorenzo's a hero narrative. Lorenzo's mate feels better, but Lorenzo feels too bad. So he gives his dad the ticket, who's also a past the So now you got Lorenzo's and dad and this Lorenzo's random... Lorenzo's mate, but Lorenzo <laughs> doesn't go. Shit the bed. Okay. Oh, drama. But both of you think Lorenzo's dad didn't hang up and go, sit tight. You reckon Lorenzo's dad's coming? Both yeah, of yeah, you? yeah. I think so. You both bang on. <laughs> I called my dad and he got on the next flight. That is massive. And like so selfless from Lorenzo's friend. When we eventually checked into our Airbnb, my mate went straight to sleep for seven hours. But when he woke up, I could tell he was feeling better. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't call in sick for a Saturday shift on a Thursday. <laughs> yeah. That's fair enough. This was problematic. <laughs> <laughs> As my dad was due to arrive within the next hour. So his dad that flight would have been His so dad okay was like there. en route. And when I say en route, I mean no cows in the proximity. He was just on an aeroplane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rather than worry about the possibility of having to buy a third ticket right at that moment, which just between you three would have cost him like a two and a half, yeah, three a couple grand. Of, and the fly would have been that expensive getting day off from Perth. Rather than worrying about the possibility of having to buy a third ticket at the moment, I was going to wait to see if he could make it through to the grand final parade on Friday, which was a similar condition to the grand final. And if he could, then I'd need to start stressing about another ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so he's leaving it. He's fucking doing like a, a fitness test with Lorenzo's mate at the grand but final parade. Like his dad making him run up doing hill sprints going, I don't think you're fit enough, mate. I don't <laughs> think you're going to make it. He's a laid out. The following day rolled around and I got through it easily. Oh, he got through it easily. Yeah. Instantly, I got... On Facebook Marketplace, Twitter, Tixel, Gumtree, and looked everywhere for another ticket. There were so many scams out there, which we encountered. Yeah, yeah a lot of the scams. And about after six hours of looking, I found someone selling one ticket on level Q of the MCG for 2.5 grand. I messaged to meet the bloke at the Mooney Valley race course and after, after we'd finished dinner. While we were eating, my dad got a message from one of his friends. Wait, what day? This must be the Friday night. No fucking way. <laughs> While we were eating dinner, dad also got a message from one of his mates saying he had a mate selling two tickets for three grand. So we asked him to see if he would be able to do one ticket for 1.5 and we were waiting for him to respond. Keep in mind, the other blokes are still offering the ticket for 2.5 but for one, mm. right? Yeah. And he's waiting. He keeps messaging going, yeah. let's do this deal. This bloke's got two and a half grand waiting. He wants to do the deal. Eventually, we get a message saying, that the mate has ended up selling the two tickets. Ooh. Third checkpoint. I want to hear what do you think is going on. Wait, so at so the moment we've I am got a bit confused about what's going on with these tickets. So at the moment, don't worry about the two tickets have from the mate. They've been yeah. and gone. Yeah. So yeah. now we've just got one, one bloke ticket. meeting us at from Mooney Valley yep. for two and a half grand. On Friday. Lorenzo's mate's fine. Lorenzo's stress and tits. And Lorenzo's dad hammered. Not necessarily, but it makes for a funny story. My guess now <coughs> is that the lone guy who's sitting in front of us is Lorenzo's friend. The lone guy sitting in front of us. At the game. Oh, wow. That's my guess. <laughs> oh, that is a huge... <laughs> <laughs> my guess, because you said it was at the race course on Friday. There's only one media story about someone been in a race course on Friday that day. And that was Jack, Jack Kinnaman. Kinnaman. AFL Premiership player. Instantly, we got an Uber over to Mooney Valley and we met the bloke for the ticket. He was legit, but there was a small problem. He'd previously bought the ticket off someone else and wanted to sell them on again with Ticket Tech. Uh-oh. You can only get them transferred once. So basically, if I sell yeah. a ticket, you can't resell the ticket. Yeah, yeah. Meaning that if we wanted to get the ticket in our account, we would have to refund the ticket to the first bloke 
who they got the ticket after, and then he would then have to transfer that ticket to us, which just basically was, just night wasn't night. gonna happen. A screenshot wouldn't have been good enough, Lorenzo says, as he could have send that around to everyone, and then we would get scammed. Yeah, fact. It's fair enough when you're spending two and a half grand. You want it to be watertight. When we went back and forth with him for about twenty minutes, Lorenzo had an idea of getting his ticket tech account details just for the day to make sure that he could get in safe. But he did, but the bloke didn't feel comfortable. So Lorenzo fair wanted enough. to log yeah. in on his ticket tech account. Yeah. Yeah, use them that way. The bloke didn't want to do that. We kept going on and on about it, and Dad said, forget about it. Lorenzo, let's go. (laughs) As we were walking (laughs) away, like real barley vibes, like we were bartering, bartering, bartering. No, I don't want want your fucking teacup for eight cents. Oh, now he's doing the, I'm leaving. I don't even want the deal. (laughs) As we were walking away, he chased after us, (laughs) like a good Balinese boy. And he said... What about if I meet you at gate three at the front of the MCG at 9.30 in the morning as soon as they open tomorrow? And let you in. And Dad was fine with that. And off they went to the Airbnb. (laughs) Checkpoint four, run me through Lorenzo's grand final. I reckon the guy shows up and they get let in. And Lorenzo goes, Dad goes, friend, migraine, mate goes as well. Yeah, that's what I think. What do you reckon? I'm an optimist, and I hope that's how it ends. What happened to Jack Ginnon? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> Kenny's, <laughs> Kenny's on the piss at the horse. When I get back to my Airbnb, I message the bloke to delete the ad off Facebook because if someone was to message him, mate, I'll buy it for 4K, who's going to say no to that? <laughs> <laughs> and he kept avoiding doing it. And finally, he deleted the ad. I woke up in the morning and gave the bloke a call to make sure he was awake. Good shit. That's a great <laughs> shout. <laughs> As a bloke who just played golf with Ed and he just decided, you know what, 10 a.m. tee off means I'll get there at 10.20. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> then he went to the breakfast. So he still had two tickets to the breakfast. So him and I don't know who went to the breakfast. Oh, how, what a nerve-wracking trip. I'd be vomiting. Made. I wouldn't be going to a breakfast. It's anyway, so Lorenzo, we love it. You bought the package. You do the whole, you go the whole journey. 9.30 eventually rolled around and the bloke hadn't rocked up to the gate. I kept calling the bloke. 10 times in 30 minutes, asking <laughs> for live updates where he was. Send me your location. <laughs> what happens? This is our fourth checkpoint. He doesn't show. <laughs> you, f- you flipped, you flopped, oh, you flipped, wait, he- you flopped. So you reckon the friend, the 2.5 Facebook guy doesn't rock up? No, nah, I don't reckon. What do you reckon? <sighs> I, I literally have no idea. I couldn't guess. I was so stressed about it. Oh, do you want to guess? No, I can't. I'm speechless. So we've got Lorenzo and his mate both have tickets. Yeah, they're at the this breakfast. point, Dad doesn't have a ticket. They're waiting for a bloke at the gate at 9.30. He hasn't arrived. It's been 30 minutes. Lorenzo's called him 10 times. He's not coming. Bloke's not coming? Not that I have. Lorenzo's dad's flown all the way from Perth. He isn't going in? He's not going in. Lorenzo says, I was stressed about it the entire breakfast. Couldn't eat a single thing. <sighs> They're out the <laughs> this <is bad. laughs> They're out the front of the gate. Bloke shows up. Finally, me, the mate, and dad all get in. Yes. Lorenzo's friend has a migraine. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes home. Oh. <laughs> he goes home by the f- f- end of the first quarter. The rest of the day was awesome, as you'd know. After the final siren, I didn't leave the MCG for two and a half hours. Just soaking it up with the tarp. No, I added that. <laughs> with all the Pies fans. And it was honestly the best day of my life. I got more messages of congratulations than I did for my own birthday. And I know that a lot of mates who hate Collingwood genuinely seemed so happy for me as well. King. What a tale of triumph from Lorenzo. When I was reading that, I was absolutely <laughs> flabbergasted. I went on a journey. That was amazing. Is That's Lorenzo's mate going to pass away? And it ended with a happy ending. Is Lorenzo yeah. going to get to the grand final? And is the dad who's flown all the way in from Perth going to get in? I know. I felt for the dad the most, I reckon. I know. Who won the quaddy at Mooney Valley as well? That was also on the agenda, but we didn't, we didn't reach that. I would be so angry at Lorenzo's friend. <laughs> You'd I be know. He caused all of this. His little headache. <laughs> Take yeah. a Panadol and shut up, champ. If I went... I know. My if grand, I went... My great people are like... It's, it's a West Coast supporter stuff. as well. If I went with one of my mates who was a West Coast supporter, my 18th favourite team, and I got there and he was like, 
I've got a bit of a headache. I'm going to ruin your trip. I sent yeah. I almost ruined your trip by a margin of there minutes. You You'd be absolutely flat as a tack. Oh, that, I reckon we they f- would have cried when they saw the guy rock up. This here. Why didn't you reply to 10 calls? Is Lorenzo. This is Lorenzo's mate. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> yeah. God. That's Lorenzo. That's Lorenzo, mate. He's wearing the pies kit. Lorenzo Lorenzo's mate is 10 foot tall. <laughs> Lorenzo's Lorenzo is yeah, he's so tall. Lorenzo is he that tall? The altitude gives him migraine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We absolutely love it. It's a genuine tale, Lorenzo. Oh, well oh, done. Lorenzo, put your hands Bravo. together here. Year 2023, Lorenzo, what a story. All right, boys, it's time for our favourite weekly segment. It's our only weekly segment. It's time for our... Every day here. You don't have to do it. We have our own panel for that. You don't have to Look, do there's that. been some faulty <laughs> text I've <up> going on. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> 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 this week's Everyday Hero is obviously a rather festive. We're all wearing our sand hats, which we mentioned yep. off the top. Lorenzo's given us the best story we've ever fucking heard. Um, and it is Christmas Day in a matter of days. Yes. I think two once from this comes listening? out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two from listening. You can't <laughs> say that. People can listen at any point in time. You never know. Hey, January <laughs> fans. <laughs> two days to go. <laughs> yeah. um, this story factors in some great festive cheer. It's it, it, Christmas can be a bit of a rough time for a lot of people. It's obviously talked about as being quite a nice, fun, festive time. But yep. for a lot of people, it's rough. tough. Mm. And it's, it's tough because Santa doesn't necessarily... Deliver for everyone. Mm. No. So it can be a little bit tough for, for some families out there, which makes this story even nicer. An anonymous donor has spread the Christmas spirit in the town of South of Perth. Oh, um, It actually took place in we Bunbury earlier That's this week deep. after they paid all of the outstanding bills at a local toy store, Toys Wo- Toy World in Bunbury. So all of the toys that were on lay-by... lay-by were paid by an anonymous man. He paid, the stranger paid two and a, tw- sorry, twelve and a half thousand dollars early this month, um, which left one hardworking single dad in particular in tears. Um, there was some people that, owe, yeah, owed $275, like yeah. an array of different money. Um, but that, but the, the lady, uh, the man, sorry, that I mentioned before, um, who was in tears, he'd been paying off the presents over mm. the course of the year. Slowly but surely paying it off. And he still had 275 bucks on the order left to go. And as you can imagine, he's only got a week to do it. Yeah. $300 is a pretty big hit. Yeah, for a week. Especially during this time when everything's yeah pretty rough. Like, can you get Cost like of living credit crisis and whatnot. Toys. So lay-by is basically what you do is, okay, I want to buy, say, a PlayStation or something, right? Mm. Big W, whatever, will hold it. And mm. I'll pay $50 a week until oh, I've paid it off. Exactly. And then you get it. It's more. It's like an old timey kind of afterpay. Thing. Yeah, it's like afterpay, but it's it. There's no credit card involved. And you don't get bullshit. the thing until you fill it. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly how it works. Um, there was six foot seven man who was seen. <laughs> he was seen crying before. Like, oh, this is I the thought. Father. No, this isn't the. I thought you were saying this is the guy who's paid it off. No, no, no. <laughs> so like the, the guy who was upset earlier, who was very surprised, very thankful, couldn't wrap his head around it because he went to pay. And, and he was told there was a secret man, a secret Santa almost, that had gone yeah. and paid for everyone's lay-bys for the rest of the year, which I thought was That's absolutely really nice. beautiful. There was one lady who um, was in, who cried happy tears when she realised the bill had been paid for. She said, I have four young ones, all with autism and they're on the spectrum. Um, and she's trying to push through this time of year and it can be tough. Mm. So to have all that presence paid for down at Bunbury Toy World, um, was a very lovely little hit to a lot of people who live in that area and they're going through a little bit of a tough uh, time. Yeah, that's really nice. We absolutely love that around this time of year. We love that any time of year, but particularly around Christmas. So this week's Everyday Hero is going to the Bunbury Secret Santa who paid off everybody's toys at Bunbury Toy World. Alrighty, boys, that just about brings us to the end of another episode of the Mac Pack podcast. Obviously, Christmas is only a matter of days away. And this, we've received a little package in the mail today from the team at Voya Vodka, who, I don't know if, yeah, I've mentioned them off the top. Yes, yes you know. so they did. sent us a little care package, a festive care package for the Christmas break, which is rather kind of them. 
Uh, they're based over East. They're in Australia and they're making a vodkas at the moment. We've had our own little vodka set up. Just a, just a bit of a nightcap on what is essentially the Christmas cap of. Yes. No cap. It's a nightcap. And Jake's just taking a sip. What do we think of the nightcap? It's absolutely beautiful. It's, it's blueberry infused. What do we think? We we it's nice and sweet. we're not big vodka guys, but I'm a fan of this because like this one's this one's nice. It's smooth. It's sweet. It's beautiful. My well, one issue with vodka, it's too strong. Which it's, <laughs> it's good, but it tastes so potent in a, in a vodka. When you yeah, get yeah. cheap ones, they're not smooth, and I imagine no. you're getting a lot of cheap vodka that's yeah. like a little bit. And this is smooth. This is blueberry. Tastes like petrol. This is adding to the taste. We've got it with the sprite right now. It's this tasting gorgeous. Does this is beautiful. This is super sweet. You can pick up. This is a 700 ml bottle that they've gifted us. Which we're extremely appreciative for. Those ones you can buy online at voya. dot com. Um, what, how much do they see back, Joe? I think they're seventy five bucks. I think seventy five. Yeah, and it comes. This is a is a gorgeous bottle. Great for a gift. And it's blueberry for you, so you don't have to drink it. We've mixed ours with a bit of Sprite because that's how we like that's drink. We we're not <laughs> hardcore. We're not hardcore brotherhood. Yeah, and it comes with. This isn't just a sponsored. No, this is a beautiful package that it came in. So this is the gift pack. Box. So when you order it, it comes in a flash box. That basically, it's built for a present. It's yeah, it's like a shoebox type bit. It is. It's bloody beautiful. There you, you just, go. Yeah, you know, you know, it's fancy when it comes to the box. So that's where the actual alcohol um, is. I'll just, I'll just read out the blurb just to give the people at home a little bit of an idea as to read what, the we're, blurb. what we're dealing with. Voya Vodka. Indulge in the essence of European lifestyle with our premium vodka, perfectly infused with natural blueberry flavoring to deliver a smooth and exceptional finish. Unwind and experience the pinnacle. Of refined taste and luxury. And boys, this isn't distilled once, <laughs> nor twice, <laughs> nor How three times, too nor many. four times, five times. That you tell me, is, Jeez. that's just can't can't be real. Oh my lord! Um, our mission here at Voya Vodka was to create the best tasting blueberry infused vodka that is inspired by European lifestyle and leisure. With the use of finest natural ingredients from all around the world, the mission has ultimately become reality. And with this marquee spirit, we experimented with different blends and gathered feedback from friends and family all over the globe in order to refine our recipe until we achieve the perfect smoothness. Enjoy with your friends and your family as a shot on the rocks in a cocktail or mix with your favorite beverage. It's us. Yes, a taste fantastic. of Europe with every sip. Fantastic. So, yeah, if you've got, you know, you might have an auntie or uncle that. Loves, you know, the loves a drink and you haven't got them anything. So grab them this and as always, remember to drink responsibly. responsibly. We love it. Thank you to the team at Boya. These ones will be going down a treat over Christmas. We're loving we're loving them here on the we're pod. Yep, we're going to finish this bottle tonight and it's going to get fucking wild. I'm getting ripped tonight, boys. <laughs> R.I.P. that. Whoop. <laughs> there you go. Um, Christmas is obviously in a matter of moments. Yep. We're going to finish yeah. this bottle on Chrissy, I reckon. If, if it lasts tonight, that long, if it lasts that long. <laughs> um, Chrissy plans every year we do the Santa photo. Santa photos. Um, so we've got to find time between now and yes. Christmas yes. to get our Santa photos done. We've done it since we were very, very young. We might yeah, talk. We only missed one year. I don't know if we've talked. I think we have. Yeah. Probably have. If not, <laughs> yeah, we'll, mum. We'll we'll yeah, 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 that's yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. Next week's episode will be the last of the year. But as you know, here on the Map for Podcast, we don't take breaks. We're not like every <laughs> other podcast. Like everyone else, sort of rests. Mm. Like this, this is my rest. Like this is an excruci- excruciating job. <laughs> <laughs> what are you resting for? We're just talking into a bloody big stick. <laughs> <laughs> and then so, we're talking into a mic. So <laughs> as, as next week will be the last for the year, we'll be back the following week. Yeah, um, but yeah, next year, oh sorry, next week will be quite exciting. We'll take we a bit of a... big tr- things planned. We'll discuss some Christmas antics, what went down at Christmas. We'll discuss what went down. I think we'll do a little bit of a year wrap. Like we won't go <laughs> yeah. through... I'll lay down a beat and you guys can just <laughs> bust a rhyme about the year. We will go through a bit of like what Busting. we got up to year or month on month, sort of month on month um, throughout the year, yeah, our right. favourite moments like and whatnot. I think that'll be probably that. quite nice to do before we kick into 2024. And we do it out the back, under lights, under cockroaches. Yeah, we love it. It's nice. Last year we got Good after we knew we got assaulted. By humidifier the with more tan. Is that I last think. year? Is that not two years ago? Uh, yeah, might have been oh, two years. Shit. Last year was yeah. good in the light. But yeah, if you're enjoying the podcast, massive thanks to for tuning in. And we've noticed a handful of people are really starting to share it with their friends because we've got so many new listeners over the last couple of weeks. So thank, you. Um, thank yeah. you so much for that. We appreciate it. If you are enjoying the pod, we obviously we don't ask for any money or anything like that. We just ask that you share it with your friends. So yeah, make sure to do exactly that. And enjoy your break. Enjoy Christmas. Enjoy the New Year's. Um, there's obviously, it can be a wild time, but we'll be there. 
for you to listen, for you to watch, for you to have a laugh at. Kick back in the sun, listen to the Mac Pack Podcast. Absolutely, we couldn't think of anything better to do. And enjoy some Voya Vodka. Um, boys, <laughs> until we... Someone's just absolutely... Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, someone, someone, kind of someone has just done... Well, the, road, the main roads aren't going. that close to where we live. Someone's just done their absolute best to rip four, four <laughs> tires with at With the once. headphones, I usually can't... Like, as long as mum and dad yell stuff out, and I can't hear it. Yeah. Yeah. That, can't that you could hear. Impressive. I thought it was like a sound effect. Fingers <laughs> crossed he hasn't had any Voya Vodkas. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, until we do this this time next week, stay safe, stay wasted. Merry Christmas to everyone. <laughs> Sleep, <laughs> stay what? Blessed. Stay wasted. <laughs> <laughs> stay wasted. Merry Christmas to everyone. And always remember to go give your mama a hug. It's Jeff for now, but not forever. Mm-hmm.